Nice to see you, to see you nice. There was a rousing welcome at the manor for Dennis Smith and his assistant Malcolm Crosby. Everyone, of course, wished him well. Everyone was pleased to see him, except Bristol City. They sacked him as manager last season, and there was pride as well as points riding on this match. Dennis and his new gang had the first and the last laugh. Only 11 minutes had gone when Cusack set Chris Allen up for a prize goal. Allen was man of the match. Him and Cusack looked sharp up front, and what's more important, they found the back of the net. It was Allen who all but put United two up when he went flying through again, only to be body checked. He was too quick for Bristol, and penalty taker Jim McJilton was too accurate. Just before half-time, City came back with a goal from Ian Baird. It was well made and well taken. Food for thought for the United defence and, of course, Smith, who started off in the director's box but was down on the touchline after this incident in which David Penny charged into Junior Bent. The Bristol player suffered a broken cheekbone and his club are considering legal action against Penny. But the United bench were angry too. It was a hard game all right, too much referee's whistle, too many niggling fouls. It worked in United's favour when they won another penalty, Alan Speed doing the damage. And because it was classed as a professional foul, Hazelwood was sent off. Jim McJilton, who's never missed a penalty for United, was on target again, and there was more to come. That man, Allen, on the left, won the ball, fought his way through, and Alex Dyer claimed his first goal for the club. This killed Bristol off for good. Bad defence by them, but smart piece of work from Allen and Dyer. The last goal went Bristol's way. An absolute screamer, an unstoppable shot from Ian Baird. 4-2 the final score, a game to remember, one to treasure for the new manager and the fans.